This problem is a quadratic inequality, and we're going to solve it by graphing. So just looking at this function right here, it is a parabola that's happy. So when we graph it, it's going to look like that. And it could have no x-intercepts. It could have one x-intercept, or it could have two x-intercepts. And we need to figure out which one is the case. Once we do, we'll then uh, state the x values for us. It needs to be less than zero. So we'll state the x values that make uh, this function negative, which would either be just the one x value that's the x-intercept, or if there's two x-intercepts, it'll be the entire interval where it's negative, but also the x values of the intercepts themselves. So let's get started. So I'm going to let f of x equal this quadratic, 5x squared plus 4x minus 1. All right, several ways to solve this. Uh, and we want to find x-intercepts. So we set 0 equal to this whole thing. Now you might be thinking, hey, this is really similar to where you started. Absolutely, but we have equality, not an inequality. And what that means is we don't have to worry about multiplying by a negative. Um, we're just going to figure out what x values make this 0. From here, you always have three ways. Complete the square is tricky because of this 5 in front of the x squared. So I'm not going to go complete the square here. We can try to factor and get lucky. If we're going to get lucky, it's going to look like this. So I need to make negative 1 by multiplying. So they're both going to be 1. One's negative, one's positive. Just taking a guess here. So we go... Negative 1 times 1 is negative 1. That's good. 5x times x is 5x squared. And now the outside is positive 5x minus x is positive 4x. So we did factor this correctly. You can absolutely use quadratic uh, equation or quadratic formula. Negative b plus or minus square root b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Uh, remember if your square root is 0, you have one intercept. If your square root is square root of a negative, you have no intercepts. And if your square root is positive, you'll have two intercepts. And it just gives you the x values. All right. I went the factoring route. So the zero product property says that 5x minus 1 equals 0 or x plus 1 equals 0. So solving, add 1 to both sides. Divide by 5, x equals 1 fifth. The other one, just subtract 1, negative 1. All right, happy parabola. We now know the x-intercepts. It is important you put the smaller one to the left. So negative 1 is smaller than positive 1 fifth. I'm going to put a y-axis. However, it doesn't matter because I'm only looking at x values here. And... What I did, I called this whole thing f of x. So I'm answering the question, when is f of x less than or equal to 0? So where is it negative? I'm going to highlight where it's negative. It's also OK to equal 0. If it's not OK to equal 0, I circle these. But when it is OK to equal 0, I fill them in. And now I've highlighted all the x values that are the answer. And I'm going to write them in interval notation, 1 comma 1 fifth. I include both 1, uh, negative 1 and 1 fifth. So it's closed interval, and you'll see that right there. So that's how to solve this one. Now you may be wondering what would have happened if it was positive. If the inequality sign flipped, I'll do this in yellow, I would describe the above the x-axis parts of the graph. And... I'll keep with a different color. What I just highlighted would be negative infinity, negative 1, if it's okay to equal 0, union, 1 fifth comma infinity. So you got to be careful about is it less than 0, uh, less than equal to 0, or is it greater than 0, greater than or equal to 0. That determines if you highlight the upper half or lower half of your graph and then describe those x values. So I'm 